This year, we are starting the summer out living in coastal Georgia. And I think it's fair to say that this is one of the most uncomfortable times of the year to be at an outdoor range. The Georgia heat, the Southern humidity, the climate in general is just very unforgiving when it comes to clothing weight and materials. So as a result, I found myself changing certain things about my range attire and thanking myself for it. So in this video, I'm going to share with you some of my must haves for range attire during these incredibly humid summer months. So first, I never go to the range without this shirt anymore. I used to use a lot of similar tops that were made of polyester and always wound up kind of soaking through them by the end of the day. I really like the shape of this shirt or just shirts like this in general because they're loose enough to allow for airflow and the hood helps to keep the sun and the bugs off of my neck and my ears. The thing that's special about this specific shirt though is that it's made entirely of merino wool. I realize that some of you might think that sounds absolutely crazy as there's this common misconception that wool is only for cold weather solutions, but I'm here to tell you that that is a complete myth and you've been missing out this whole time. Although it's not a complete miracle because I do still sweat through this, I sweat through it a lot less, if that makes sense. Like it takes a lot longer for me to get really uncomfortable and hot than it would in something that's like a polyester like material that doesn't breathe quite the same. Now that doesn't mean you should break out all of your wool long johns and start wearing them to the range this summer. The shirt is designed specifically to be a sun shirt, which means that it's nice and thin. It's not unlikely that most of the wool items in your closet, if you have them at all, are thick. Honestly, at this point, I'm pretty convinced that merino wool clothing is the solution to all of my problems. And I'm on the hunt for even more summer clothing that uses at least some percentage of this natural fiber. As far as the pants that I like to wear to the range, I'm still looking for the right pants. I can't really make any great recommendations for range pants, specifically for the double extra small petites. <laughs> However, I have a couple of brands I probably would be buying from or regularly if they had my size. And that would be Cool, Prana, Revolution Race, Revolution Race has some really cool stuff. They don't make my sizing. Uh, and also 5'11", just to name a few. The pants that I wear most frequently at the range these days are these transcenders from Cool. But now that I'm actually wearing a real belt at the range and kind of working with a more legit USPSA setup, I need to either find a pant that has belt loops or sew some onto these. I also picked up some golfing shorts. I can't remember the exact brand a few months ago. And although they're really nice and lightweight, they're also a little bit more high-waisted than I would typically want, especially for using with the belt. And they were actually pretty pricey for what I feel like I'm getting from them. That's one of my tips for you though, if you want to find a good lightweight pair of pants to wear at the range and hiking or tactical pants aren't really cutting it, golf clothing can actually work really well for bullet golf activities as well. The last range clothing item I wanna talk about are shoes. I learned the hard way that shoe selection seriously matters. So take it from me and don't make the same mistake I did by wearing an old pair of running shoes on the range. If you're just standing on the line at the range and not doing any movement at all, then you can disregard this one. But if you're moving your feet with a gun in your hand, it's time to pick up a pair of higher tread shoes. I always thought my squad mates at matches were wearing high tread shoes because it made them super cool and fast. Like, all new shoes do, duh. But I learned the hard way when I took a pretty hard fall at a match a few months back that the tread is not just for the cool kids, it's also for those of us who want to remain upright. So yeah, I have these Solomons and these Ultras, Ultras, Ultras? for range use now. My Solomons definitely have better tread, which I definitely prefer, but they're less comfortable and the Ultras are super comfortable, but I wish their tread was a little bit more intense. I've seen some other people really liking their on-cloud trail shoes for this application as well. Regardless of the brand you go with though, just make sure you're wearing something with enough tread when moving with a gun in your hand. And lastly, if you haven't seen my video about merino wool underwear, then you might consider watching that one next. As much as underwear are technically supposed to be a private matter, I can't help but bring it up because they're also an everyday wear item that interacts very closely with our guns and can seriously make or break concealed carry comfort. So for your benefit, I braved talking about underwear on the internet. So please don't shame me in the comments. Thanks guys for watching this week's video. I hope I gave you some helpful tips for being more comfortable at the range and I'll see you guys in next week's video.